This is hydrogen tap. That sound you hear in the background is a fan that I finally had to set up in here because the focus cell has been putting out so much hydrogen. It's just too hard to breathe in this lab with it. Which is good news and bad news, I guess. One of the this focus cell has worked out so well that uh, I have to say I'm pleased with it. It takes a lot to make me happy, let me tell you. I don't get pleased with anything. This is my work, which I'm kind of proud of it. One of the things that uh, I've just done to upgrade it is now I'm getting these machined. These are the spacers that go in between. They're stainless steel, and they're really hard to cut, by the way. I've been cutting them by hand, and let me tell you, they're hard. Even the machinist doesn't particularly like cutting them. So these are hand-turned and cut. The other thing that I've done to upgrade this is the screw that's in the center now, the nylon screw. I'm getting these and buy the hundreds so that I can get a decent price on it. I'm tired of fishing around for the hardware stores. And if you want to go to hydrogentap.com, I've got them up there selling them by the twos so anybody can buy them. They're really cheap. And the trouble is postage costs almost as much as the screw. Anyway, I sell them by two if you want to go up there. If not, fine. I know a lot of people have been looking for them. These are great. The other thing on the focus cell that I've upgraded on the tube itself, if you go look at, you notice the legs on the bottom. I've replaced the spacers on the bottom that were, that were made of aluminum with these and these you can see how thick they are these really are nice they're plastic and again they they add to the focus so what we've got here two meters and one on the left here is volts that are going across the focus cell. The one on the right is amps. Right now I'm adding uh, the distilled water. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. What I've just done is hooked up 110 and of course, there's a voltage drop across it. And this is distilled water. There's your amps, 0.28. The purpose of this test is to see just how little lye I have to put in here at 100, 110 to get a reaction in. Show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, what you see here is lie. And you can see what I just picked up. So we're going to start with that. And I'm going to drop that in the water as soon as I get this camera focused on here. There's your amperage. Now I'm going to drop that particle in here. Okay. And again. Where am I? 
Oh, look at this. I haven't even put the second one in there, but look at that. You saw the size of that. Now look where we're at. Watch the... I haven't stirred the water. I haven't done anything. That one particle. That one piece. Now let's take a look at the... That is what's happening. And you saw the amount of lye I put in there. Okay. Now let's try some more. Hmm? Okay, now I'm going to come back here. And we're going to pick up another particle. I call it a particle. I don't know how well you can see that, but that piece I'm going to stick in the water. What we're going to do is yeah, I can pull back and you can watch it. This is the amperage. Come on. There we go. There. Okay. Our particle. It's so small, I'm going to have to... There it goes. It goes in the water now. Pretty interesting, huh? At least to me it is. Now you understand why I like using lye. It really reacts. Okay, now I'm going to use some more here. A little bigger. There's three particles. Now watch this. It's 103 volts, remember that, so... That's with three particles of lye. Remember how big they were. This is the focus cell that we have in here. Remember there are 11 plates separated by an eighth of an inch. There's six electrodes in the rest are neutral or I call them blank plates. What's interesting is it settles back down. I'm not care about that as much as how little it takes to make the change in that water. Remember that's distilled water we're looking at. Again, if you want to write me, you can do that at hydrogen tap. Dot com. That's John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com.
or you can go to hydrogentap.com and see this focus. So.